Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create your own this or that effect for TikTok. So when you tap on the screen, the filter will start and will show you two options. When you tilt your head to one option, this option will stay and the other option will change. Then you will can go through all the options and the last selected option will show up in the end. I have created a subgraph asset which makes it very easy to program this filter and I will also provide you with all the graphics to follow along this tutorial. But of course you can also create your own graphics to customize this filter. You can find all the assets you need in the description of this video there will be a download link but I will show you how to do this. So let's go! Hey again, so let's create this this or that effect here in Effect House. Before we start creating, please make sure that you have downloaded all the assets we need for this filter because I have created a subgraph asset for you which we will use to program this filter. So just go to the um, description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here just click on download and here just download it. In this downloaded folder you will find the graphics which we will use in this tutorial and also the subgraph asset. If you want to create your graphic assets you can do this of course. I also have created a Figma file which you can use so just go again to the description and then you will get to this Figma file where you have the start image and also the options for this filter. So the first thing which we will do here is to import all our graphics. For this we go to our folder and then we will select all our graphics and then we will just drag and drop it into our assets panel. I have created 10 different items for this filter but of course you can create less or more items. The next step we have to do is to import our subgraph. So go, go again to the downloaded folder and then just import the this or that subgraph. For this also just drag and drop it into your asset panel. Now the import is done and we can start setting up our scene. This is the most important part here because we have to make sure to set up the scene correctly that our subgraph is working the right way. So now we go to the left upper side to our scene panel and here we click on add object. The first thing we will create is a scene object. This is kind of a folder here in effect house so we can drop some other objects into it and then just move them all together by just moving this object. This scene object I will just rename with a double click or you can also right click it rename to this or that. So the next thing we will do is that we add an image. So we go again to add object, then to 3D and then to image. The image will be created outside of the scene object but please make sure that you just drag and drop it into the scene object so it is inside of it. So this will be the image for the left side, so my left um, item. So I will just rename this to left. Then I will just duplicate this object, so right click on it and click on duplicate. And this will be the object for the right side. So rename it to right. Now we will just move this here on our screen, so the left will go to the left side. So select it then go to the right hand side and set the position to let's say minus 5 and then select the right side and set this to positive 5. So they are too close together so I will set left to minus 6 and right of course to positive 6. So now they are apart from each other so we can tell that those are separate images. So now we have to move those two also into a scene object. So again we go to add object and search for scene object and create a new scene object. So now also drag and drop this scene object into the this or that scene object and then rename this. This will be our in 
game scene object. So I will also call this in game. Then select the left and right and drag and drop it into the in game scene object. So now we can open and close this and we can also change the visibility of this. And when we deselect the visibility, those two images are disappearing. So the next step we have to do is to create a start and a end plane and also the little R plane here in the middle. So for this, we go again to add object. Then we will create a 3D image object. Now also drag and drop it into the this or that scene object. And I will rename this to start. We can already give this um, a texture. So select the start image, go to the right hand side and set the texture to the start texture we have created. And so we, have al we also see this on our screen. So we can disable the visibility because now we also need another object and this will be the end object. So we can just duplicate the start object. So right click on it on and duplicate. Set the visibility to on and then rename this. And this will be the end. So here we don't need this um, graphic on it. So select the end object, go to the right hand side and set the selected texture to default texture. So this is just a placeholder. The subgraph will handle this for you. Now we can also turn off the visibility. And now I just want to insert this little or graphic here in the middle. You don't need this, of course, that the filter is function right, but I think it looks good. So for this, we go again to add object, new 3D object image, drag and drop this into the in game scene object and here also rename this to or so now we can also give this um, a texture so click on or go to the right hand side click on texture and here select the or texture the moment it is a little bit too big so go up to the transform properties um, activate the chain and set this to let's say 0.4 yeah now this has a nice size so now one thing is missing this thing is in the middle of our screen we want it above the head i always um, yeah set the scene in this way because with the scene object we can just move it into the face tracker and it will work just fine so to add a face tracker, we go again to our scene and click on add object. Here we go to face effects and here we will search for face sticker and insert this. This will also come with a image, but we don't need this. So go to your face binding here in the scene, click on the image which was created and just delete it. Now we can drag and drop the this or that scene object into this face binding. And now you can see this is following our face. Now we have a problem because when we move our face, the R is making very crazy things. Um, yeah, because it doesn't know is it before or behind our image. To fix this, click on general here on the left hand side. Then go to the right hand side and here um, activate sort by hierarchy and when you do this the order is in front of it but only when you have it underneath the left or right in your scene when it is above it will be behind it so make sure it is underneath so now we have set up our scene almost because it's in the middle of our face so let's change this Select the scene object on the left hand side, go to the right hand side and set the Y of the Y position to let's say 12. Yes, this looks good. But of course you can change the position of every object here. Um, so yeah, just be creative and set the position on how you want it. So now let's go to the subgraph. So go to your assets and just drag the this or that subgraph into your visual scripting. This is a pre-made 
program which I have already programmed for you, um, which we can use to create this this or that filter. Now we just have to make sure this has the right inputs. So the start object will be the start image. So it was really important to name it the right way so we know which object is which and we don't get confused. So then click just on none here and select the start scene object. The in-game object will be this scene object with the in-game, so the folder of left, right and or. Then the left image will be of course the left image, the right image of course the right image and the end object will be here the end object. Now you see the placeholders have already changed and now just this placeholder and not the actual images because we have to load our textures we have imported into this texture array. So 1 to 10 so go to the texture array and set this here to the textures. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So now we have almost set up this filter, but when you tilt your head at the moment there is nothing changes. So it's not switching to the next answers or there is also no animation. Because we need to add a start trigger for this filter. So here is also a last input that says start, start trigger. Um, I want to trigger this effect when I tap on the screen, so we need a screen tap node. So go to the plus in the visual scripting panel and here search for screen tab. And here just connect the next output with the start trigger input. And now we are almost done. We just have to set the visibility here on the right side right. So this or that should be visible at the beginning. The in-game, this should not be visible, but the start should be visible. Um, this is very important, otherwise, yeah, this will be messed up at the beginning. I just programmed it this way, so you can just activate the visibility and then just, yeah, play around with the position, with the scale until you are fine. But before you um, finish the filter, make sure just the start is visible here. And now, when we tap on the screen, the start screen should, should change to the in-game. And now we can start selecting our options here and when we are through all the selections it will um, give us our yeah most liked item in the end and as I have already said you can also use less or more textures when if you want to use less you can just delete them here so now we just have six or seven and when we start it again, we have a fewer selection, but of course you can also add more. So this was all the magic about how to create a this or that filter in Effect House. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice if you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.